What's up, Kidela friends? It's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. This video is a mini Power BI tutorial video. Power BI is a business intelligence tool that data analysts and data scientists use in order to analyze their data and build these dashboards you see over here and then share these dashboards with the wider business so the business can take actions on these insights. So we take some raw data from Excel, for example, or in any other database. We load that data in Power BI and then we build these dashboards. By the way, click the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading videos on how to build these dashboards from scratch. Right, in order to download Power BI now, you can head over into Microsoft Store over here and then search for Power BI and then this is the app you want to download, Power BI Desktop. You can also download this from their website. I'm going to have the link in the video description. So you go over here, you click download and you are going to have Power BI Desktop on your PC. Next, as soon as you download the file, you can go over into search for Power BI Desktop and if you click this, you're going to have a new blank Power BI file like this. The first thing you want to do now is to get some data in your Power BI app because this file is completely empty. You can see there is no data versus this file over here that we have two tables. To do this, we can click on get data over here or we can get data from over here. You can see there is multiple common data sources that you can choose from. There is even more down here. There is Snowflake, Databricks, AWS, Azure. There is everything actually here where we can connect to so we can load data into our app and start building our visuals. However, in our case, we're going to use Excel workbook. So I'm going to click connect and then I'm going to go and find the files I want to load, uh, which is going to be in here. And then I'm going to do all files because the files I have, they are CSVs. So I want to load this file over here, click open. Then it gives me a snip into our data. As you can see over here is the first 200 rows. And then I click load. And this is loading the data into our Power BI app. There we go. You can see now we have our data, which is basically coming from our Excel file. If we want to view this data now, we can head over here where it says table view and we can select our table and you can see that we can see all of our data. You can also apply some basic transformations here. So if I select the retail price, for example, and I want this to be a currency, I can click over here and select the currency I want. If we want to do more advanced transformations, then we can right click on our data, click on edit query, and this is going to take us into the power query editor where we can do a lot more transformations. So you can see all the things we have over here. We can change the data types, for example. We can add new columns. We can remove columns. We can rename. Uh, let's do something. For example, if I want to remove this column, I can right click and click remove. As you can see, I can also pivot or unpivot our data. I can add new calculated columns. So what I suggest you should do is that you should go over all these transformations and check all these sections. So you have a good idea of what you can do with Power Query Editor. However, my suggestion is that you apply all this cleaning before you bring the data in Power BI. So for example, you can use SQL or Python to clean and transform your data. So you don't have to do it over here. You can just load the data and start building your visuals. Right, if I want to go back now, I can click over here, home, and then close and apply. And this is going to apply our step that we have removed this column over here. So close and apply. And then if we check our data, you can see we don't have that column anymore because we deleted it. The next important thing you should know is this model view over here. And this is where you can actually combine multiple different data sources together. In our case, we only have one table. That's why you only see one over here. So we are going to load another file and let's load, uh, let me select it, this file over here, car info. So we can showcase how you can combine them together. So I click load over here. There you go. Now we have two tables, as you can see. And now, oh, Power BI identifies the join itself. However, you want to check this first because it's not always correct. 
What I am going to do now is that I'm going to remove this join, this relationship that Power BI created automatically. I didn't ask it to. And then I'm going to show you how we can join the tables together. So as you know, in the concept of joins, you have to have a key column that you're going to use to join the two tables together. And in our case, if we check our raw data, we have index that exists on both tables, on both this car info, you can see index, and then this YouTube car main index over here. So if I go over model view and I want to join these two together, I can drag this index, this column, onto index in the second table. And you can see this is saying new relationship from table, this car main is going to select index to table, car info index over here is a one-to-one -one relationship and we want to have both in the cross filter direction. So if we filter one table, it's going to filter the other two. We click save and now we have our join and we can aggregate one table from another table. Right, going back to report view now, before we start building our visuals and we're gonna to try to create this simple dashboard you see over here, I'm gonna show you a few options to make your report look nicer. So before you select any data, you can click, oh, what did I do? Delete this. You can click over here in the format your page and over here in the canvas settings, you can actually change the type so you can make your report longer or wider. Also, you can change the background over here. So I'm just gonna change it to this light gray. And then I am going to, uh, where is it? Uh, canvas background, light gray. I want to make transparency to zero. So now we have gray background as you can see. Something else we can do, if we go over into insert and then a text box, and over here is where we can add our title. I'm gonna move it, let's say down here, make it a bit smaller, and then our title is going to be, for me from here, Power BI Tutorial, paste it over here, move it in the middle, make it a bit wider. Uh, something else you can do to make it look even prettier is that you can load images. For example, we can come over here, select this image. There you go, we can adjust it, make it uh, smaller like this smaller and then we can add it next to our title so it looks nice there you go usually we have the logos on the top left or the top right and we also have the date of the dashboard when it was created or the live date we have right now we make this a bit bigger i can actually change the style into fit or into fill there you go next we want to start creating our visuals so i'm going to start by showcasing the card first so over here we have our visualizations and i'm going to select this card you see over here uh, and then i'm going to maybe take up 25 percent of our space maybe like this and into this card we have just created i want to drag the number of indexes because this is showcasing the number of cards we currently have as you can see, it says count of index. I can also change this into sum, average, minimum, maximum, because it's a number. However, I want to have the count distinct, which is correct. I want to change the formatting of this visual now. I want to click over here. I want to change the callout values color, for example, to be this uh, dark blue, for example. I want to change the display units to be none, and I want to add a zero here, click enter, so we can have a comma to the thousands. Next, I want to remove the category label, for example, and I want to go over general, add the title, and the title is going to be NO of cars. So the number of cars. I want to put this in the middle, for example, and then I want to make it bold, and then I want to make this a bit larger. And I'm also going to make the callout value to be a bit larger. Our next visual now, if we click in our visuals, is going to be, actually let's view it, it's going to be the sum of retail price by make, which is the car manufacturer. So if I drag, let's say, make on itself, it's going to try and create the visual itself. As you can see, created a table, if I hover over here. However, I want to change, well, actually, let's add the retail price so you can see how it looks. You can see this is a retail price of make. And now if I click over here, for example, you can see it changes the visual. If I click into a vertical bar graph, which is, oh my God, move this one over here, you can see it changes again. If I click over here, it changes, you get the idea. 
I want to keep this visual over here and I want to make it look a bit nicer. So if we click over here in the format your visuals, we can change, let's say the color to a light blue like this. We can add the data labels. So you can see the data labels. We can change the color of the data labels like uh, this one over here, for example. We can go over into the title, change the title, let's say a uh, retail price, for example, by make, uh, make it dark, bold, move this to 16 maybe, and then put it in the middle like this. Uh, what else we can do? We can actually remove the titles from the Y axis and X axis, or we can actually change the title to the name we want to. Next, we want to create our third visual, which is going to be the number of cars by model. And since we already have these two visuals created, I can just copy this, paste it, move it down here uh, like this. Let's take all the space, for example, like this and like this. And now we want to switch make to model. You can see how it changes. Uh, so I want to remove make. And then I want to have the number of cards. So I'm going to add index over here, count of index. And there we go. We have the number of cards per model. I need to change the title uh, into a number of uh, cards per model. Something else we want to do is that we want to add some visual shadows. So I'm going to go over into general effects, enable shadows. So it looks a bit nicer. There we go, uh, there we go, nice. Uh, also, I want to change the format of this graph into the vertical one. So I'm just gonna keep it like this, like this. And then the last visual we want to create is our table. So if you see over here, we have card details table. So very quickly, I am gonna copy this, paste it, move it down here, make sure it takes the right alignment change this into table as you can see and then i want to add the make for example i have the model i want to add the retail price and i also want to add a few columns from our second table so this is our second table and if you remember we created the join so we can use these columns too now so maybe i'm going to add the cylinders and the horsepower now i want to make this table look nicer so if i head over into format your visual style presets and then over here i'm going to select minimal for example there is a lot of styles you can see over here uh, what shall we choose let's do uh, this one maybe uh, and let's make sure every column is visible uh, you can see we can make them smaller and then count of index we are going to rename into now, NO of cars, for example, uh, sorry, index NO of uh, cars, like this. And the last thing we want to do now that we have our dashboard ready, we want to publish this dashboard and then share the link with the business so they can click on the link, access the dashboard, and then get insights from the dashboard. To do this, first we need to save our dashboard. So I'm going to do file, uh, save as and then save it over here as uh, version two, for example, uh, click B2, save. Then we want to click on publish. Over here is where we want to select our workspace. So I created a test workspace so I can push my dashboards. So I'm gonna say uh, Yannis test dev over here, click select. And then this is publishing my dashboard into the workspace. Now from the workspace, I'm gonna to need to create an app in order to put my dashboard into the app and share the app with my stakeholders. So this is my dashboard on the workspace. If I go back into my workspace, which is called Yannis Test Dev, I want to click over here, which says create an app. Then I need to add a description. I'm just gonna say A for now. Next, in the content, I want to add my dashboard, which is the V2 dashboard, which I cannot see now. Let me see, is the V2, is this one? Click Add. And then in the audience over here, you can see this is visible. I need to add the emails of the people that are gonna have access to this dashboard. So after you add their emails over here, then you click Publish App. 
and this is going to generate a new link. This is the link you get over here. If you copy the link, add it in an email and send it to the stakeholders. If they click on it, then they're gonna have access to this app that has your dashboard you've just created, and they are gonna be able to get their insights. Right, this is it for this Power BI tutorial. I hope you've gained a very good understanding of how you can use Power BI in order to analyze and visualize your data and share your dashboard with the wider business. If you feel that you've gained enough value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos.